If you don't do this to your CNC router the minute you get it running, you may run into cut problems with your CNC router down the road and not realize that it's all because you didn't do this one thing from the get-go. And that is breaking your CNC router in once you first get it built. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft and I'd like to welcome you to this video where I'm going to teach you how to set your CNC router up to break it in the right way. I was a journeyman CNCist for uh, many years and one of the things we always did when we got a new machine was we always broke it in first. There's two benefits to that. Number one, it gives you the opportunity to start to understand how your machine works and it works out all the bugs. A lot of times what you'll find is once you start running through a break-in cycle, some of the things that you thought were tight will loosen up. And then, of course, that reflects into cuts in your projects as you move down the road. Maybe a very simple roller bearing that was loose that you thought was tight. So what I'm going to do here is teach you how to set up your CNC router so that you break it in as soon as you got it running. And later on, I'm going to teach you how to write the G-code to do it. It's very easy, and I'm going to give you the G-code for it so that you can just fix your router up and modify the G-code just a little bit and then run it as you want. So if you are a long mill CNC router owner with a 30 by 30, I just want to let you know I've already got that written and you can download it for free with instructions. In fact, it doesn't really matter what CNC router you have. You can download that code for free and get the instructions so you'll know how to set things up. Just follow along with what I'm doing in this video and you will get your CNC router settled in after you break it in. So down below in the description are links for the, to download that. Also, there will be other stuff down in the links. I'll talk to you about that later on in the video. Right now, I'm going to walk you through the process of how to get your router set up to break it in and then how to run the breaking cycle. Then we're going to write the G-code so you know how to do this. Let's go. Now, the first thing I just want to point out to you is the control software that I am using. This is G-Sender. G-Sender is a free control software that you can download off of the Long Mill website. It'll work not just for the long mill, but for any CNC router that has the Adreno platform. So most of the CNC routers you're looking at use that. Bob CNC, Shapoko, uh, Millwright, on and on and on. We are going to be moving the machine around using the move around buttons right here, the jog commands. So first thing we're going to be doing is just making sure our machine moves using these. So... All we do is just press the Y plus, Y minus, X plus, X minus, Z plus, Z minus, make sure it moves around. So let's go ahead and do that now. A couple things I want to let you know before we start moving this around. First of all, take the dust of shoe bracket off the machine. And if you have limit switches on it, take them off as well. If you don't have a long mill CNC router, don't worry. I'm going to teach you how to do this later on in the video. So right now what we're doing is making sure that we have control of the long mill on all axes. So we've moved it in the X, we've moved it in the Y, and now we're moving it in Z. And now we're going to position it for this break-in cycle. So we bring the Z up to about a half of an inch of its hard stop. And then we're going to bring everything to the front left corner of the machine. We're not going to hard stop it. We're going to bring it to within a half inch of hard stops on all axes. So here's the X. Make sure we're clear. And here's the Y. Make sure we're clear. So what we've done is we've taken the X or the Z and brought it up. We've taken the X to the left and brought the Y forward. Now one thing you want to do is make sure that you lubricate everything. Anything that's metal, that's moving. So take a little bit of light oil and put it on any spinning parts. Just one or two drops is all you need. And I would also put a little light oil along the screw all the screws on all moving parts and don't forget the Z carriage so you put on the screw there and on the linear bearings and make sure you wipe off any excess oil that has dribbled around so now it's time to get the G sender 
and we are going to upload the program that we have by clicking load file. And this is the long mill 30 by 30 break and cycle file that you will have if you decide to download this. You can modify it as you wish. So we're going to bring it in. And so now you see we have it on the screen. A square. And this is what this is going to do. It's simply going to run around to the four corners of the machine. Back and forth, back and forth. And while it's doing that, the Z is going to go up and down the whole time. And it's going to do it many times. So before we start the job, we have to zero our machine out where it's at. So we're going to use the location area and we need to set our numbers to zero and we're going to use the zero all button. So watch these numbers here. When I press the zero all button, they're going to go to zero and there we are. So now everything is zeroed out. And all we have to do now is start the job. So we click start job and the machine starts to run. Now you can see the Z is moving down as it's moving across the X direction. Now one thing I want to point out to you is don't make sure you don't have router bits in this when you're doing this. And it's moving back to the Y direction. I'm sorry, going Y plus away from you and the Z has moved up. And now it's going to the left in the back and the Z is going back down again. And now it's going to return back to its original point. The Z is going back up. Now this is going to do this over and over again for about 50 cycles. It'll take about a half an hour for it to run. When all is done. It's broken in. Now the only thing you need to do is just double check all your hardware to make sure everything's still tight. Especially your roller bearings, anything that moves around. You just want to make sure it's tight. Now the next thing we're going to be doing, I'm going to teach you how to write the G-code program so that you can do this to your CNC router. It's really easy and just follow this step by step and you'll have it in no time. If you are brand new to CNC routers, subscribe to this channel because I teach all the stuff at a basic level to get you kick-started into your CNC router. I try to create videos for you where you don't have to go bopping around on a hundred different YouTube videos to try to figure things out. If you're a long mill owner, this is free to you. The link is down below. And in fact, there's a whole bunch of links for any CNC router owner down below. All right, let's get on the computer. We'll write the G-code program, show you how to do this, and then we'll check out of the video. In order to write the G-code for your machine, the first thing you need to do is figure out all the travel and then subtract a couple inches from each travel so that you can write the G-code so it'll continue to go around and around and around without hitting any limits. So with us set up with the Z up and the X to the left and the Y forward with a half inch gap all the way around and you are set to zero in your control software move your X carriage over so you have the same amount of gap on this side and on the back the same gap and bring your Z down until you're almost bottomed out but not quite just as I have done here so what I've done is I moved everything over all the way back and you can see my Z is almost all the way down touching the spoil board. And now you can see how far your machine has traveled by looking at the location area. So Z has traveled 30.2 inches, X has traveled 32.4 inches, <coughs> and Z has all traveled and Z has traveled almost four inches downward. So what you want to do is simply hit the go to XYZ zero button right here, and the machine will start to return to its zero position. In the meantime, while we're waiting for it to go back, we are going to start writing our G code. So what you want to do is come down to the, the area down here, the lower left corner, you see this white space in your uh, windows area. And in it, you want to type in N-O-T-E, 
for Notepad, and Notepad will show up there. So just double click that. And Notepad will open up. So I accidentally clicked it twice. Okay, and so now we're going to write the G code that's going to cycle this thing around. Let's just rehash what we have. Our front left corner is the zero point with the Z up almost all the way. And our first move is going to come over to here to the front right corner. The second move is going to go to the back right corner, third, back left, and then back to the original position. At the same time, the Z is going to move down when it's moving over to here. It's going to move up when it comes here, go back down here, and come back up. And everything will be back in its original position. So with Notepad opened up, this is what I want you to type in. G54. Now before I go on, you see I've got a small G right there. It doesn't matter if you use capital or small the software is going to know what the code stands for. So G54 is what they call work offset, and that's just a, a default that your software goes to. So we have G54. The next one is going to be G90. Now G90 just says we are going to start from the zero position, and we're going to reference everything from this corner right here. The next line will be G20. That's if you're working in inches. If you are working in millimeters, you want to type in G21. That tells the controller whether you're working in inches or millimeters. So we're going to say G20 because we're working in inches. And the next line is going to say G0. Now, that's not the letter 0. It's the number 0. So G0. And then we're going to say X0, Y0, Z0. And what that does is if your machine just happens to be out here somewhere, it's going to return it to that zero position that we have just set. So our base program is now set up. Now we're going to write the code that's going to move the machine around. So the first thing we want to do is go from this corner to this corner. Now you have checked the distance that your machine has traveled and what you're going to do is just subtract a couple inches from each one. As far as your Z goes, subtract maybe an inch from the whole travel, half an inch, whatever you want. But first we're going to come from this position to the X positive position of, we're going to go 29 inches. So we're simply going to type in X 29 point. And that's going to tell it to come over here. At the same time, we want to move the Z down. So we're going to say Z minus 3.5, because that's what I'm going to move it on this machine. And that will move the machine from the front left to the front right and move the Z down. Then we're going to start a new line, and we're going to say Y 30 point. I had... 32 and a half inches, so I'm just traveling back to the back corner at 30 inches. And then we're going to tell the Z to come back to zero, so you just type in Z zero. We're going to start a new line. Now we have to go back from here to over here, which is the X zero position. So we're going to type in X zero, and then we want Z to come back up. I'm sorry, then we want Z to go back down, so we're going to type in Z minus 3.5. And the next line is going to be back from here to here. So that will be Y0. So Y is going to, this is the Y direction, and this is the X direction. We're going to type in Y0 and then Z0 to bring the Z back up again. And now we have gone full circle around this profile. We've moved X, Y, X, Y, and Z has gone up and down all the while. So we've made a full loop. And now what you want to do in order to create this repeatable movement around the machine, you simply want to grab the last four lines and copy them. I'm going to hit Control C for copy. And then we're going to go to the next line right here. And I'm going to Control V. And now what we're telling it is to make a loop again. So that's two loops around 
the track, if we'll call it. And now all we have to do is control V multiple times, and I would say do it about 50 times. And then when you're done, at the very last line, type in M30. And that tells the program it has ended. And just so you know, since I've got this written out, I will just copy this little section out underneath in the description area and I'll put a couple notes in there so you know what to do so you can just copy and paste it and change the numbers as you wish to work with your machine so now we're going to save this g-code and we are going to come up to file and we're going to save and then we'll save it somewhere we'll save it as a um, uh, we're going to call it the break in break in temp because I've already got a break-in program. And then we're going to click Save. We want to make sure it's saving as a text file. Now your machine may need a different extension. If it does, you simply have to go into the properties and change the extension type. When you're in Notepad, it always comes out as a text file. And then we are going to save it. And now that G-code program is saved, and if we open up the directory where that is at, which I believe I put that right there, and there it is right there. So it has come in as a general notepad text file, and now we just simply upload it to the machine. So we can just come over into your G-Sender, and we're going to look at all files, and there it is. I'm going to double click it. And now it has come in, and now all we have to do is hit the Start button and run it. So now you know how to write G-code. Remember, this code will be listed down in the description with some comments as to what you need to change. And if you want this G-code, I got it to you for free. It doesn't matter if you own a long wheel CNC router or any other CNC router. You can modify the G-code as you wish. You'll get the instructions with it too, so you know how to set everything up. I got one more thing for you. If you are in the market for a CNC router and you just decide you want to get the long mill, I'm going to ask you to use the link that I have down below. It's what they call an affiliate link, so I get a little bit of commission for it if you decide to buy through that. And if you do, I've got a little free gift for you. So, I'll know. I'll know. And you'll have to email me. Say, Garrett, I used your link. With that, I hope you have a great day, better tomorrow, go get your free G-code, and I'll talk to you later.